Hey friends, um, welcome to June, yay! I apologize I didn't get May's readings done. Some of you were kind of like sending emails or leaving comments on different videos saying, what the fudge, where is May? Um, and if you follow on the Facebook page, that's a better place to keep updated with what's going on. I'm going to make a video about, um, you know, if, for those of you who have followed me for a long time, you know that I used to be super, super consistent and like ahead of the game. Um, but the last like year and a half to two years has been complete upheaval and like just crazy shit in my life. So I'm going to make a video about that later because there's like a lot of spiritual like lessons and things in that that a lot of people will benefit from, including um, like, you know, how to predict and navigate your way through different things that come up if you were to read your own tarot cards and like, anyway whatever. The thing I wanted to say before we started our reading is that moving forward, like after June, yeah, I would say like probably about August of this year, everything, all the ducks should be in a row and things will get back on track so you can look forward to that. Uh, but in advance of that, I wanted to let you know, for those of you who are intending to purchase um, video readings, throughout like the first two weeks of June, there might be a delay in those. I um, am having a nose surgery, my nose is broken and it's causing sinus infections a lot. So I'll we'll have like this big thing on my face. And so um, like a little, uh, what do they call that, a splint? And then maybe some black eyes after that. So I don't know how up for video reading I'm going to be uh, straight out the gate. But I will be keeping on top of email readings and phone readings. So there's that. Um, now, this month, what the reading looks like for you guys is what you can expect in work with your money. Because sometimes those are related, sometimes they're not. In your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or in an on-again, off-again relationship, like an undefined relationship. Maybe it's new and it's not Facebook official. Maybe, um, you know, you're polyamorous. Maybe you're the other woman in a uh, relationship or, I guess, the other man, you know, whatever. Maybe it's a sugar daddy situation or a, a sugar baby situation. What do they call it when the guy, leave it in the comments if you know, when the guy, is it a kept man? If it's the dude that has a sugar mama? Anyway, yeah, if you know, let me know because I'm curious. And then we're also going to be looking at, you know, just kind of socially, like what do your relationships look like or what do you need to be aware of for this month, um, whether that is friends or family kind of situations. We're going to talk about your lucky day, um, which chakras you need to work on, what is your crystal of the month, uh, so many things in these readings this month. So um, let's just get started with it. Welcome to June Libra. Okay, so what's up with your money in June? They're saying think about your love about your money in loving terms. Um, you know, smiling and saying there's more where that came from when you hand your money to a cashier. Um, being like, hey, I'm so glad I could pay my electricity this month. You know, things like that when you pay your bills. They say this is going to manifest love into other areas of your life, not just in your financial life. So this is a really good place to start. And the funny thing is, is for every other video so far, I only have yours and Aquarius left. Um, I didn't start with money straight out the gate. And so I think this is sort of like setting the tone for your whole reading, where they're saying there's a lot of good things to come of that if you can really get into the vibration of love when it comes to money energies. And so, yeah, it's sort of that concept of like the more generous you are with your funds, the more like you give them away with love and joy, the more that money will just flow to you naturally. And sometimes that's actual money, like sometimes it's bonuses, sometimes it's a lottery win, sometimes it's a check in the mail, but sometimes it's like a reduction in bills. Like, oh, actually we miscalculated. You don't owe us anything this month. Or, hey, surprise, this thing that you always buy is like on a super sale. And so they say this is what's going to help create like a stable financial situation for you is by really um, living in that energy of love when it comes to your money flow. Um, they say like this makes cognitive sense to some of you who are aware of like the law of attraction and like how money is an energy and stuff like that. Um, but you don't apply it 
like you don't really feel it and so they're like try to really feel that this month when it comes to work stuff which may or may not be related to money you might not be so excited or enthused about trips you have coming up or about new projects about new colleagues about any sort of changes or even just going to work in general in the month of June um, they're saying like you need more time out for self-care and that's what's kind of like taking the joy and the fun away from it and they're saying you know you could very easily this month if you're not cautious of that if you're not doing enough self-care having enough time to just like decompress um doing something that you like to do is like a hobby whether that's writing drawing you know going for like a little walk outside anything like that they say if you don't do that um you could very easily fall into this like kind of pit of oh man, like this is never going to get better and it'll potentiate and you can become more and more negative and feel somewhat um, depressed. Not, I think depression is a strong word, but they just say like kind of like listless, like there's not much to be grateful or um, thankful for. So if there was ever a time to make sure that you're like really, really feeling that gratitude journal, um, like kind of forcing yourself into that vibe, this is the month. And they're saying, you know, um, this is what's going to really help you feel that happily ever after vibe. They're like, start with your money, put a lot of love into that energy, and then also towards yourself and self-care, because this is, if you can put a lot of love into every single aspect of your day, of everything that you do, then in every area of your life, it's only gonna get better. Because, you know, the absence of love in something, um, is like the absence of light in something, right? So if there's not love within you, you're going to feel dark and negative and heavy. Um, but as soon as you start shining that love light, that energy shifts and it shifts everywhere. You know, there's like a little hole in a door um, of a room that's like pitch black and that little hole lets in so much light, right? And so um, that's basically what they're saying, like putting a lot of love in any area of your life, but especially the ones that are most jacked <laughs> um, is going to really turn things around for you and make you feel a lot better this month. So in regards to your love life, if you are single, they're like, don't be disappointed. Um, this month is not going to be total garbage. Any relationships that don't work out, they weren't for you. So don't try to force them. Don't try to keep them. Don't try to accommodate to make a potential love interest like you know maybe they fit a lot of things on your list but you're just maybe not as compatible as you hoped you would be and so they're like if something doesn't work out let that go because what they're saying is when we shift our mindset that way we are giving ourselves that care right we're not like holding on to things too long but we're also creating a space for the right person to come through instead of overstaying in something that's wrong now they're saying it doesn't you might not be very excited about looking for a partner. You might just be like, oh, I'm tired of like always coming up with like not the right person and whatever, whatever. And they say like, if you don't want to talk to people, that's fine. Um, if you don't want to be looking for a partner, that's fine. But definitely don't be talking to yourself that way. You know, like if it's not exciting, don't do it. But um, when you're ready to start looking for a partner, um, you need to be pumped up, amped, excited in the energy of love. Like, I love the process. Like, if you don't love the process anymore of trying to get to know people, take a break. Because they're saying it really doesn't need to be that challenging. With the right person, it would be easy. Okay? So, don't force yourself. Like, if you're talking to a lot of people and, like, none of them really seem to, like, get you pumped up, um just let it go. They're saying, you know, here's the thing though, moving forward, like you can't have these fears. Like, yeah, you learned a lot of stuff in the past. And I think for the most part, you're very optimistic and you know that like past relationships and past people are not the present or the future, right? But what they're saying is like, you're lying to yourself a little bit about like how, because Libras are so loving and patient and kind and like good communicators. Sometimes you might be inclined to be a little too patient with somebody that you're just getting to know. And it's like, okay, yeah, certain circumstances and stuff happen, but are you setting a precedent like for yourself to try to make something work that's just not supposed to work? It wasn't in the cards. And so like, you can't control it. Like, oh, if I give it more time, like maybe they'll like figure it out and they'll come around to my way of doing things. No, like if they were excited to be there, they would like show up and be excited to be there just like you would, right? And so that's the point. If it's not exciting, take the month off from trying to find a partner. But if you can find yourself in that exciting, loving, like I know what I want energy, this could be a good month for you. You could have a lot of fun and a really steamy sexual 
um, kind of love life in the month of June, but it's about having the right mindset. If you are coupled, they're saying um, things will be approximately the same, but just like a little bit more expanded. Things that you guys worked on together, um, goals that you wanted to achieve, like they might finally start being, um, you know, tangibly starting to pay off. If you guys were saving a bunch of money to the side to put a down payment on a home, you might be like just almost there in the month of June. You might go, whoa, like we only have like one more month and then we're at our goal or something like that. Um, trying to get pregnant would be another good example. And they say, you know, like this is um, calculated, like you thought it through and you were balanced and you were disciplined and these are the rewards for the relationship. Like you put a lot into it, so you're going to get a lot back. You know, whatever you put into your relationship this month, you should ex expect to see that coming back at you. Um, they say, um, and this cycle isn't going to end anytime you know, immediate, so all through the month of June and probably into July. So that's really awesome. Um, so you're going to get out of your relationship, whatever you put into it. So that's a good place to focus your energy and to really build up that love energy I mentioned. Is that if your relationship is unhappy, though, keep that in mind as well. Um, like you're strong, right? But like if you don't put anything into it, it's not going to get better. Um, but like if you work on yourself, like let's say you wanted to leave, um, if you work on your own personal growth and your self-care, you'll develop enough strength to do that finally. Um, in regards to those who are undefined relationships, they're saying this might be a challenging month for you. There might be some pain. There might be some heartbreak, but you're going to be stronger for you. It's that Kelly Clarkson, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger vibe. There's all this imagery of lions, right? Maybe you have a Leo best friend. I have a Libra who's not in an undefined relationship, but I'm her best friend. And um, she was like, whoa, can you tone it down? Like your opinions about like this situation in my love life. And I was like, no, I'm always going to roar. <laughs> you know, like I'm always going to roar because, you know, I'm sorry if that makes you uncomfortable, but, you know, I fucking love you. And if anybody disrespects you, like I'm going to scratch their face off and bite them hard in the neck. That's just how it is. Um, so undefined relationships. Yes. A lot. You'll, you're going to find out about your own strength and resilience and um, you'll see exactly how Libra and balanced you are. Does that mean doom and gloom for sure? No, but that means there's going to be a lot of hard work this month when it comes to whatever it is that you're dealing with. Okay. Now, in regards to social and family relationships, like friends, um, stuff like that, colleagues even maybe, what they're saying is that um, there's really nothing to worry about in those arenas. They say um, there are some things that, you know, like you have an awareness that something's going on with some of your friends or family members but you don't have the full picture, but you kind of know that. Like, you know something's up with someone in your circle, um, but they're like, don't even worry about it. Like, honestly, if there's anything that you can do or you need to do in order to help them through anything, like, they'll let you know, you know? But honestly, I think that you know that there's really nothing you can do, that it's like their own shit storm that they need to go through. And um, if they weren't embarrassed about it, they'd probably talk about it. <laughs> so they're like, you know... Um, the best thing that you could maybe do is try to um, initiate like some sort of adventure to keep their mind off of it and they'll tell you when they're ready. You know, invite them to coffee or to bowling or something, something like that. Okay, so your um, lucky day this month is the 12th. Your chakra to focus on is the root chakra. And so that's like the foundational things, the money, the job, the food, like what you're eating, like your amount of exercise, the day-to-day -day routines, right? Because we are Libras and we want to stay all balanced. Um, and then your crystal of the month is desert rose or gypsum. They're um, two different types, right? So there's the white ones, the white and brown, and then there's the solid brown ones. Either way, you can't get it wet. Um, and so anyway, point of these is it increases your happiness in like your beauty. It helps you to be a, like a really free thinker. It helps with psychic communication, encourages communication. Um, it reinforces the power of like affirmations and it helps them like grow and expand. 
Um, it helps you to feel like this sentiment of well-being and like a lot of comfort and helps you with your understanding, with your like personal value and like remembering your uniqueness and a lot of other things, community, cooperation. So um, you can get one from your local crystal store. Maybe you already have one. If you don't, I have them on my website and I'll mail them to you. And then you would also get with that a... Um, full printout that has like everything saying these are the angels associated to it and how to charge it and cleanse it but they already come cleansed and charged ready to go and then a video playlist on how to use crystals um so there's that then moving on from there um some things we want to think about is this concept of achievement and they say acknowledge and appreciate the value of all of your achievements you may be kind of like forgetting those things and that's really really easy to do you go through like some trauma and then like you just put your like what do they say balls to the wall nose to the grindstone I was trying to compute put those together and I was like nose to balls doesn't work <laughs> don't put your nose to to balls I mean do it if you're into the person but like it's not the um, phrase I was looking for. Nose to the grindstone, balls to the wall. So, you know, you're in that moment, you're go, 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 and then you achieve, 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 and then it's like all of a sudden you kind of stop, right? Like you take that minute to take a deep breath and relax, and that's your self-care because you were like fight or flight for a minute. And then you feel like shit because you feel like you're not achieving, and it's like, wait a minute, you know what I just did in the last six months? Like... I'm a fucking superpower, like a superhero. Anyway, um, what they want to talk about though here, okay, so remember how we talked about root chakra, that basis stuff, that base energy stuff? They're saying we've got to open up our heart chakra in order to really do a great job there. They say new beginnings are coming and they will increase your level of stability, but they come through way of hard lessons or... Um, you know, sometimes hardship. And so it's like almost as though you might overindulge in certain things and need to learn these lessons of moderation. So maybe you're, I mean, we can overindulge even in really good ways. We might say, okay, you know what? I'm going to watch my diet. But then maybe you watch it a little too carefully and you start to get crabby because you're not um, allowing yourself, you're depriving. Or maybe you exercise too hard, you know, and then we pay for that <laughs> later, like sore muscles or exhaustion or, um, you know, whatever. So they're saying this might even be in regards to our personality or um, maybe you are asking other people for help too much or maybe we are helping others too much or maybe we are shouting, you know, it could be anywhere in your life, but they're saying like there's an, there's a lot of areas where we want to come into better balance to create more stable routines that will benefit us um, along the way. So I forgot I was going to grab you the uh, affirmation with that. With temperance and moderation, I create more balance in my life. Okay, that's pretty basic probably why I just shut it. <laughs> it didn't matter. So our angel card is Archangel Ragulal, and it says, thank you for surrounding my life in harmonious light. So with him, um, his name means friend of God, and he's the angel of harmony. Well, I mean, okay, what else goes more with like harmony and justice than the term balance? It's very, very Libra, okay? If there was going to be an angel in the zodiac who was a Libra, it's this guy. So thank you for surrounding my life in harmonious light in the harmonious light, ask him for help, okay? Um, your color energy of the month is violet, and it says create a balanced life. You guys are like a little bit out of balance, and it's weird because you are the zodiac sign of balance, um, but violet has to do with your crown chakra, and so typically this is, I mean, sometimes people use violet like right here, but that's more of an indigo. To me, violet and indigo look pretty similar, but um, it's officially the color of the crown chakra, as is white, okay? So a lot of times when we are working on aligning and balancing out our chakra systems, we start at the bottom and we work our way up because we want to build that solid foundation like Maslow's Pyramid, right? But in this specific case, we're trying to not necessarily like light them up or cleanse them. I mean, those things would be good. Um, or strengthen them, right? Like muscles. What we want to do is we want to like purify though. We want to start from the top and just kind of like how water cleans you from the top to the bottom in a shower. Okay, you're going to cleanse all this bullshit out of your life, creating a balanced life, right? But like I said before, this energy is interesting where it's like things kind of seem okay 
And then when we're like, wait, something's a little out of balance, these routines I created, I thought they were doing good for me and maybe I'm overindulging. And then it becomes a little bit chaotic. But in that energy of chaos is where we realize where we need to change and adjust. And where we change and adjust, like new, awesome, better things come as a result. And if you have Sagittarius in your chart, that'll be interesting because they have something sim similar in regards to like this concept of symmetry of change. So Violet, creating a balanced life. Um, so this one, it will help heal insomnia. It helps you um, clear your head and your mind, balancing out your thoughts, like getting rid of, um, this helps a lot of people with like ADD, I think, epilepsy, that kind of stuff, mental stuff. Um, increases your psychic senses. Let's see. Um, where did that go? The Okay, so it helps you to release fear, stress, and worry, and it helps you to bring back the balance. So the affirmation is, allow me to create a balanced and harmonious life full of blessings and joy. So once we achieve that balance, it's like things just start flowing to us. But it's like, number one, the hardest part, you know, that chaos number with the five is figuring out where is it a little fucked up. Um, so... Your mantra for the month is, the perfect job is looking for me and we are being brought together now. And this doesn't necessarily mean in regards to work. This could be like the job of motherhood or the job of being a good friend. Maybe your perfect job is the job you have. For a lot of you, it probably isn't. And then, you know, this is what we're going to use to manifest that into our life. But until things are balanced, we're not going to do a really good job of manifesting anything. Maybe like, <coughs> excuse me. For example, um, if you're a single Libra, okay, and you really want to find your life partner, um, when you're really going hard and you're striving for that, you're actually putting out a desperation energy, which is a repellent to manifesting what you want. So until you come back to balance with that, um, you're not going to find it. And so it's like, I'm going to go after what I want. I'm going to think about what I want, but I'm going to do it in a balanced way. Um, so good luck with that. Let me know in the comments if there's something that um, you're having a hard time with balance on and um, maybe we can help each other out. Love you a ton. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!